So there's one more social plugin I want to show you, not because it's any different than the other ones, but just because it's pretty awesome. It's the live stream social plugin that lets users chat in real time on your app. It's just about as easy to use as the rest of the plugins. So let's check it out. I'm gonna go to the social plugin section of the Facebook developers area and scroll down until I see the live stream right here. So I'll click on that. And the live stream lets you users share activity. This is really cool when you have stuff like concerts, speeches, webcasts, and stuff. Everything is pretty similar, except it is going to want an app ID. And if you have multiple chats going on, you want to make sure that you specify a number or some sort of unique ID right here to differentiate them. So I don't need to get the code. I already have it in my snippets file. So I will switch to BB edit as well as transmit. Here's our code. See, it's just as simple as the other one. And I'm going to open up the index.php file. This plugin also has a minimum width. So it's not going to fit on the sidebar where the rest of my social plugins are. So I need to put it in my main area. I'll grab it and I'll put it on top of the blog stuff right now. So here's my blog and I'll paste that right there. Save it. And I'm going to go back to Safari and go back to my app. Reload. And there I have an actual chat and I can discuss things with users. So let's go ahead and put something in here. So we're gonna hit share. Notice that it goes into the event in real time. Now this is kind of boring because I don't have another user using this app right now, but I'm gonna switch over to Google Chrome and I'm gonna refresh my app here as well because I'm logged in as another user. Scroll to the top. There I can see my other user and just type in a comment and hit share and the two users can kind of communicate with each other in real time. So I'm gonna switch back to Safari. Now eventually this should be updating on the fly. So let's just go ahead and type something in. This is also gonna to post to my timeline if I just leave it like this. So if I click that off, then it won't post. So I think there's a little bit of a lag because I'm using two browsers and it's not showing me the results of the other person here, but let me refresh. Maybe I can see the whole stream of conversations. And once again, because I am the administrator of this app, I can ban this user if they're doing something crazy. So this is a really sweet plugin. I'd love to maybe add it to a website and let's go ahead and add a little bit more description to our site here. So we'll just add a little label and a description of what this is. And I'll go back into one of my browsers and just refresh just to give it a nice little headline at the very top that identifies this. So like I said, this is one of the really cool plugins. I can imagine that Facebook will be improving them as they go along and maybe adding some new ones. So this is a great way of adding a lot of functionality to your app without a lot of code.